This is program number six, okay, uh, about the implementation of breath first search. So this is the tree, breath first search tree, okay, uh, starting from A, B, and so it will travel from A to B and then C, okay, the after D, and then it will move to E and F, like this one. So the implementation of this program is here in the Python, okay. Uh, we are going to take the graph as a dictionary, this one. So this is the dictionary, okay. Inside the dictionary, we have different nodes, A, B, C, D, E, F. And this is uh, implemented by the, this is inserted, input by the user. So node A is such as, this is the key and this is the value of the dictionary. So inside the value, okay, A is connected with B and C, the values. The node B is connected with D and E. Node C is connected with F. D is empty. There is no connection, okay, afterward. And E is connected with F. F don't have any child node, okay. This is the main idea. Okay, thereafter, okay, we have uh, two lists, empty list, visited and queue. So these are the two empty list. There's no item inside the list. Okay, visited and queue. Here, okay, I am going to define a function, BFS, breadth first search algorithm, which will take input, the parameter or argument like visited, this one, which will take the visited list argument and graph. Okay, just now I shown you this one, the graph, uh, this one, if I can show you, this graph, this dead, and the graph, and the node, okay. So node is also a, we are talking about this, these nodes, A, B, C, D, and so on. So it will take three parameters, arguments, and return, okay, some value. I will show you later what it will return. So let's see, okay, uh, how does it work, this function. The function starts from line number 14, visited, okay, this one, visited, dot append, okay, node. So visited list will be appended, added inside the, okay, the list, we will add the items using this line number 14. So we will append what? Append the node, okay? Like A, B, C, D inside this list. In the same way, okay, the Q list also will be appended by, added by the sum of the nodes like B, C, D, okay, in the same manner. Then we have a while loop, okay? While loop. The while loop, okay, will take the Q as a condition. And let's say the Q is true, okay, the Q, okay, the value of the Q is true. Then it will run. So S is a new variable, which is equal to the Q dot pop, okay. So we are taking out the element which is inside the Q. So after filling, uh, if you run this function, okay, it will fill with many nodes, not just one node, it will fill with all the nodes which is inside the graph, okay, this one. So all the nodes will be filled in inside the visited and the queue, okay, by using, okay, these two lines. Thereafter, okay, the S is a variable which will uh, take out pop operation. It will take out from this list which has many items inside uh, so it will take first the zero element, the zero index element, the first element of the queue, okay, this one. It will take out the first indexed element, zero el index element from the queue list, okay. So it will, okay, be S and it will print the value of S and thereafter it will go for a one single space, that's all. So it will run, okay, while the, the 
loop while is true for the queue. Then, okay, it will go for the for loop, the next one. Here we are taking the graph, okay, the same structure, the graph, the variable, okay, the graph inside here. In the graph, okay, we are taking S, this value, okay, which is taken out from the queue, okay, and now we are, okay, uh, one by one checking every index, visiting every index in the graph, every node in the graph. No, let's say node A, B, C, D, and so on. So we will visit, okay, neighbor. Go to every node one by one. So for neighbor in graph S, okay, uh, we will see one condition, if function is there. If the neighbor okay, is not in the visited, so we will check one condition uh, during the visit, during the loop of for whether the neighbor, okay, the index value item, okay, inside the graph is there inside this visited list or not. If the item is inside this list visited, then we, okay, the condition will be false. Otherwise, if the item which is inside the visited, okay, like A, B, C, D is not in the, this list, okay, then the condition will be true. And if the condition is true, it will okay, go to the line number 23, visited, append, this one, and it will add. If the item is already inside this list, then it will not add any other item because it will be repeated item. Let's say A is there, then it will not put again A. It will put A or B or C one time only. The meaning is this one. So visited.append, it will check the condition. If there is some node of same type A, B, C, D, okay, if there, it is not, then it will append. It will put inside this list that, let's say B is not there. A is there, B is not there. It will put the B. If the B is there, then it will not again B inside this list. In the same way, we have okay this list cube, this one, and it will be appended in the same manner with the same okay uh, items inside. So these two lines, 23 and 24, will add inside visited and queues respectively. So this is very simple, okay function very simple function uh, okay let's see okay after that so we have defined the function that's okay and thereafter we can just okay call this function we call this function define uh, the BFS visited which is filled with empty okay no uh, empty list and the graph okay which is by the user, this is the graph value, this one, and also, okay, uh, node A. We want to start from A, so that's why we put the node, the starting state A. And if we run this program, we will find that it is running properly. Uh, I think this one, see? So now we have, okay, the values A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, in the same manner, how the nodes are visited one by one. A will go to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to F, like this way. Okay, let's go to the next program. Okay. It is the, uh, actually this is the same okay, program. So this is very simplified okay, example. Uh, also, okay, in this one, Uh, we are going to implement BFS for traversing a graph, uh, but the, this time a little different. See, uh, for getting the shortest path between two nodes. So we are interested to get okay, the shortest path between the two nodes also at the same time. So, see, 
we have started okay, defining a function BFS connected component. So here we are interested to find uh, which nodes are connected. Okay, so using this define function BFS connected component, we will begin. So this function will okay visit all the nodes one by one in the graph which are connected. Okay, so. Here we take the graph the same as earlier. Okay, this is the graph value, this one, the same. And also star. There's another variable which is taken as parameter argument start, starting point. And in the same way we have okay a list of okay no item explored, name explored. The another okay list okay we have the start value argument which is taken from the user okay start so this is okay the first one inside the list okay uh, the after we will go for while loop the while loop will check the condition if the queue is true okay then we will go to the line number 15 node equal to q dot pop zero the same way as earlier we did it also uh, so it will just take out from the q okay this one at zero index means this one as the node so this is the our starting node start is the starting node you can think like a or like this one right the starting node and if the node is not inside the explode, if the list have okay, not the same node inside, let's say A is not there, A will, A will be inserted inside. Okay? So if uh, node is not in the explode list, then we will add here the explode list, this one, with the exact node, which is coming from here, this one. Also, we have neighbors. So the neighbors equal to okay, graph node. So the neighbors okay, will have okay, graph and it is taking the node as the element of the graph okay, inside. For okay, neighbor, okay, now we have another for loop. So the neighbor, okay, for neighbor inside the neighbors, okay, inside the neighbors, okay, this is the collection, neighbors, okay, a collection of neighbors, okay, this one, which is a combination of graph with the node. So we will visit every time, every item with zero index, zero, one, two, three, and so on in this list. Every item, okay, item is referenced as this is a variable that's okay so every time it will queue it will put inside this queue list okay this one uh, put inside add inside this queue list the values which are coming from the neighbors okay from the neighbors this one so it is just copying copying the elements from the neighbors this one to the queue this one this list and finally it will return explode so the value which is coming at the end explode will be returned this one okay. so this is okay very simple function again there's another function bfs shortest path so this is uh, our required function bfs shortest path okay. we are taking the graph start and go so start is the initial state goal is the final state okay these three parameters from the user and in the same way we have the list explored with no element inside also the queue have single element start okay this one and pay attention to this one this is not a single uh, a simple list it is list of lists two dimensional list okay you can think like this so if you remember in Java, it is also referred as associative arrays, okay? connected arrays, array of array. 
So in the same way, in Python, we have a list of lists, okay? Dimensional list, you can think like this, okay? So that's all, okay, it doesn't matter uh, for the next line. So 32, line number 32, okay? If start is equal to goal. So let's say we arrived at the goal. From, we started from some node and we got idea that this is the final node, this is the end node, this is our goal. Then we say start is equal to goal, the condition, this one. Then we say we don't need to travel anymore. We don't need to go anymore. Just return, we have arrived at the goal. Okay, that, that was easy. The start is equal to goal, so we don't need to move anymore. Any next node, that's okay. The goal is there. But if it is not like this, the condition is not like this, then we will go for the while loop. Okay, this one. While Q is true, okay, we have in line number 37, the path. It is a variable path, which is equal to Q dot pop. So from the Q, okay, list, we are taking out the first element and it will become the value for the path. So let's say uh, the node is equal to path minus one. So what is the meaning of minus one? Minus one means we are moving from the opposite side, not the same side, the last element, okay? So minus one means the last element. So let's say uh, we have a no, uh, list of ABC elements, okay, the nodes then we are not starting from A, the zero index. We are starting from C, the last element. That's why it is minus one. If node is not in explode, okay, so if node is not in the explode list, then we will fill the node in the graph as neighbors, okay, these. So if the condition is, if the nodes are not in the explode list, and remember earlier, the explode is without any element here. So, uh, so we will try to fill up this explode, okay, by using this condition and running the for loop. So, uh, after the condition check, okay, we will fill, okay, the graph dot uh, graph uh, list, okay, with the nodes A, B, C, D, let's say inside the neighbors, okay, another list. So the list is filling the neighbors list, like this one. And thereafter, okay, we are running the for loop. Here, the neighbors is the same with all the elements inside, right? And we are going to one by one, all the elements, index zero, one, two, three, okay, all the elements one by one. So new path will be the list, okay, of the path. So the Okay, the path is okay, this one, and now we are making a list of the path, okay, this one, as a new path, new variable. And the new variable, new path, is appended, added with the neighbor, okay, list items, one by one. In the same way, the queue is added with the new path, the same way. Uh, the elements which are inside the new path list. Okay. Uh, again, we are going for a new condition. If neighbor is equal to go, this one. Okay. If the neighbor is equal to go, then we will return new path, this one. Okay. Otherwise, uh, not otherwise actually, uh, it will just check only one condition. If the neighbor is equal to goal, then it will return simply a new path, this value, okay? This value with appended, added with the neighbors, that's all, okay? This value. Uh, also, okay, uh, the, during the for loop, okay, if you can see, the for loop is still at this point running. So, explore dot append, explore will add the node also in the same manner as this appended the queues, okay? So the explored list will be added with additional elements, 
node like A, B, C, D also. So this is about okay the for loop and uh, if uh, the condition is true in that case the for loop will run and it will come up here. That's okay. Uh, so finally, okay, this function. I'm talking about this function. BFS shortest path. The function will return finally, okay, this message. That's all. It will do all the operations and also it will return this string, okay, this message. Now we are going to execute the program using the main function. So main, okay, defining the main and put taking the graph value from the user like this one. Uh, again, it is the dictionary with the keys and the values inside in the same manner. And uh, we will print and call, okay, two functions that we have defined here earlier. So we are calling one by one uh, BFS connected component and also another function BFS shortest path this function okay here in the print statement so by calling these functions okay one by one inside like this one uh, if you can see here it is the first time at first we are calling BFS connected component with the values graph and A, the initial okay node A. In the second call, okay, for BFS shortest path, we have graph exactly the same one, but now we are taking two arguments, D and F. Remember because there are two nodes, okay, uh, two values. So shortest path, okay, will take start and the goal two values in addition to graph so this is all about so if we run the program okay it will be this one uh, here's the result okay here's the node of the graph listed by the breakfast and here the values are like this a to b to c d e f and here the shortest path will be between d and f so d b a c E uh, C F. That's all. Okay, let's see. Uh, on page number twenty-two, you offer your lab manual program number seven. This is the dead first, okay, algorithm. So uh, the it will move, okay, in from A to B to C, uh, not C, actually, A to B to D, and then E, and then it will move to C, okay. And there's no connectivity, so we, it will move to F, okay, like this way. So here, okay, uh, we are taking exactly the same way the graph. We state the empty list, okay, and now we are defining a function. The function, okay, it starts from DFS of the function, this one, and we are taking three variables as argument. We state graph node all these three as, as earlier. If node is not invested, then we will print simply the node, the name of the node, A, B, C, whatever. Uh, also, we will append, add the listed, okay, empty list with the elements which are coming from the node, okay, this one, this one, actually. So, the for loop, okay, This for loop will begin from here. Uh, the for loop, okay, will have okay uh, this collection, graph nodes element, okay. So here, this is the collection graph with nodes, and we are going to one by one, okay, to every item inside this list. So for neighbor inside the graph, okay, we have we are calling one by one, okay using this function dfs so if you can see okay this is the same function and if you remember program number one or not one two or three it is called recursion of the function 
So recursive functions is example of this one. So we are calling the same function, okay, repeatedly. So that's why DFS is calling. So this means we will run this program and we will come up here and we will call the same function, this one again. So this time the values will be different. At first, okay, the value listed is empty, zero, without anything inside the list. The graph value will be this one, the same. If I can show you, like this one, this is the graph value. And also, uh, the node will be, uh, sorry, here, the neighbor, okay, will be, okay, uh, earlier as node. So we have, let's say, the node A, B, C, okay, any node, that's okay. But next time, the node will change. It will go to the next node, okay, not the same node as earlier. So that's why we are calling to repeat the same process which is in this function again and again for every node one by one and that is why we are using the recursive function and finally we are calling this function dfs visited graph and the node value a so if we run this program it will be like this a b d e f c one by one 